Welcome back. We've uh, had a little break from YouTube and cars in general. We went back to see family and everything else for New Year's and Christmas. And we're back in Japan now. And we're on our way to see our new car. <laughs> um, so funnily enough, I saw this at the airport as we we're about to leave. I put a bit on it and we got it. So <laughs> I'm not expecting much, but um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see, I guess. It's going to serve us a very specific purpose. So if it does that purpose, oh, we'll be very happy. <laughs> it's behind me. I've been walked over here by Nikki. Um, I can turn around now. Yes, you can turn around. Not as bad as I thought. In <laughs> initial thoughts. I was expecting a lot worse. It's actually not bad. <laughs> I mean, like, as a whole, it's pretty, it's obviously got some shit stuff, but it's got good kenders on it as well. <laughs> they might work as well. Oh, the bonnet's open. Hell yeah. So, obviously, it's a R33 Skyline. Now, this came up, it was very cheap. Um, and for a while, I've been wanting something that's just a bit crap. Like, I guess like a drift missile, if you want to call it that. But just a car that I don't care about too much. Um, you know, I'm sort of jealous of like Nikki's car where it's very simple, very jump in, turn the key. We never do anything but put fuel in it. And I've, I was even looking at NA cars. I was looking at, you know, just obviously very rough missile cars. And then at a certain price range. And then this came up and it was cheap um you can see it's quite rough um we'll show you in a second but like the boot floor is all cut out and you know it's missing all the paperwork that it needs to be registered in japan so it can only be used on a track can't be exported normally so you know it sort of ticked all the boxes and it's well i think it's an rb25 turbo we'll find out in a second. yeah <laughs> okay so um yeah RB25, turbo, standard, intercooler, no front intercooler. It's got the little one up here. Um, that looks like a uh, very high flow air filter there. But, yeah, I mean, it looks like it's all there. It looks like it even has aircon. <laughs> Blitz coilovers, pretty cool. Even though they're, they're one of the cheaper ones anyway, but yeah, it just looks all stock. Factory turbo. Let's see if it has oil in it. Wow, it's got plenty of oil in it. That's good. All right, well, I know for sure it needs a battery and I actually have to find the key and everything for it. I don't know where anything is, but yeah, we'll um, see if it runs. I guess that's the next step. I was assuming it'd be locked, but um, <laughs> safety first, everybody. <laughs> um, my first thought is that the dash is oddly nice, I want to say. Um, it's full of stuff, which is an easy fix. Came with some lovely wheels and tyres there. Oh, there's my trim for the tail light. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's fixing itself already. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, this is obviously a big part of why it was so cheap. Very rusty, but uh, good thing about 33s and I think maybe S, no, no S1. But yeah, the fuel tank and stuff is further forward so you can literally smack this boot up to the rear screen and it's going to drive exactly the same as it used to so that's sort of the plan so but yeah that's um i've been told the battery and everything is dead so things that i do know i need were battery and the seller said it doesn't have a muffler so i don't really know what that means so if it doesn't have just the back part or if it has nothing all the way 
But yeah, apart from that, apparently it runs drives. So we'll grab a battery for it and see how far we can get. Oh, look at this. I don't even know how this goes. There you go. <laughs> oh yeah, it's definitely missing something. Oh yeah, but it goes to there. Yeah. It's got... That's drivable. Oh, it's got a high cast still. But it's unplugged. Interesting. I really want to see what kind of gearbox it has. If it has the 25 box or a 20 box. For the price, I'm expecting an RB20 gearbox, but if it's got an RB25 gearbox, very good. <laughs> it looked more bent in the photos. Like, I remember it's got a crease and stuff in the here, but that's from rolling the guards. In the furs, it looked really shit. I mean, it's not nice. Uh, for what we want it for, yeah. perfect. Oh no, the key's not in it. Shitty seat, I love it. Same yeah. steering wheel that your car came with. <laughs> Bus driver size? Yeah. Let's have a look. What are these? Shit. Of course. Fuel pump and power, nice. car runs and drives so that's a good start I uh, just got it up on the lift now we're gonna go underneath and just see what's there what's not there because for the price I'm sort of expecting like RB20 gearbox um, rust I guess maybe some chassis damage or you know whatever so hopefully no big leaks either <laughs> that would be nice but um yeah let's have a look so First impression, engine looks quite dry, which is good because it does have oil in it, so that means it's not coming out. Um, ever so slight leak there, but nothing to worry about for me personally. And that is an RB25 gearbox. That's great news. Um, and surprisingly, not that rusty. <laughs> All the seals are pretty, they're squashed as everything is, but actually not that rusty. Not that it really matters. But it still has high cast, which 
I know nothing about. Um, it is unplugged, so I don't know if that means it doesn't work anymore or if I have to do something else. Um, I've seen people sell the high cast lock bars and stuff like that. I'm guessing that's to reduce play and whatever. Um, but yeah, for this car, we're just gonna leave that for now. And if it's a problem, we'll address it then. So obviously the floor is cut. Um, why people do this is beyond me, but also it doesn't actually matter. <laughs> um, rusty pockets. Maybe this car was very rusty in the back. That's why they cut it out. I don't really know. It does look very shitty, but um, yeah, as I said earlier, like you'll notice like here's the rear mount for the subframe. So essentially anything from here back uh, is completely irrelevant to how the car is going to drive. So <laughs> um, for this part to be the bad part, it's perfect for us. And yeah, so like I was saying earlier too, the fuel tank is up here in these cars, which is really good for you want the weight. It's probably the best spot. And also obviously you have all this space that you can crunch and fold in and you just put it in gear and drive away. So it looks pretty good. I'm just gonna go around now and nut and bolt check all the important stuff. Check that we have fluid in there. I'm not gonna change the fluid at the moment. Um, and yeah, I think that's probably it. Just check everything over. Uh, the front tire is pretty bad, so it has 17s on it. And luckily enough, I have a brand new pair of Good Ride 17s. I'll chuck them on the front. And yeah, I've got a few wheels with secondhand tires on them that we can just throw on the back. And yeah, I think we'll go testing tomorrow. The joys of buying cheap cars, you always, I've taken three wheel nuts off, we've got two different ones, and this one in there that you just saw is, um, you know, obviously the wheel nut goes taper towards the wheel, this one is taper out, unless it's a weird design, but let's see, oh, it was very tight, yep, <laughs> done backwards, <laughs> that's why you check these things, seems stupid, but clearly not. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh yeah, helps if I get the other one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, only one different one. That's not too bad. Not a lot of brake pad, <laughs> but enough for tomorrow. Um, yeah, so all this stuff's new to me. The Skyline type. I guess they call it wishbone or third link or whatever they call it, but um, surely this is not as much of a headache as my FD, so. <laughs> Definitely nothing to write home about there in the lock department. <laughs> but that's what we want. We want something rough and fun. And this is looking pretty good. So I have some other wheels with tires already on them. I'm gonna try them if they're, they're a little bit wider than those. So if they're too wide, I'll just fit M tires on these. But other than that, I've nut and bolt checked the whole front and we're good to go. Just tires and check fluids in the engine and I'm not gonna bother aligning it because there's not much to align, everything's factory. So, um, and plus it's a fun car. So we'll just deal with it. Stock from home. <laughs> Stock from home. So these wheels actually came on my FC and underneath that disgusting matte black is the nice white with blue stripe RG2s. But yeah, brand new good rides from a few years ago, but definitely better than what we have on the car. So if they fit, we use them. If they don't, we swap ties. and life's too easy. You just put things on and they fit.
Well, <laughs> that makes that easier. We'll run them then. Stick to half in here. <laughs> Found some money. Paint yourself off. <laughs> Old head unit. Yeah. Everything's for sale, guys. And that you see, your nice weather strip. Cool. <laughs> this is a DAP place. That thing I always want to buy for your car. Oh, yeah. To turn the battery off. What you got there? So, got the interior all cleared out. Um, noticed a few odd issues, like the brake lights weren't working, so went to the back. Tail lights weren't bolted in, but all the bolts were there for it, all the nuts were there for it. Um, one harness was missing for the brake light bulbs, and I found the harness in the pocket recorder. Plugged it in, thought, okay, this should work now, and then they didn't work, so I checked. Uh, actually no, sorry, they were on all the time. No. They didn't work. And then I looked under the dash and uh, someone had unplugged the pedal sensor for the switch. And um, plugged it in. Now the lights are on, but they're on all the time. So that little plastic piece that trips the sensor to turn the lights off, that had broken at some point and they just unplugged the brakes so they didn't come on anymore to drain the battery I guess so I just I don't know if people bother doing that because you can put a cable tie through that hole and now they work like normal doesn't kill the battery and you have to pull the car apart <laughs> but <laughs> you know um, the hazards needed a fuse so now it's hazards brake lights and yeah the rest of the car nut and bolt checked fine nothing really problematic the front wheels I had clear at turn Rear wheels are just some old second-hand tyres I had from the FC. And yeah, put a fresh battery in it, which is pretty straightforward. And the front bumper that it came with was, um, I wasn't on the car when we got it, but I just had it on and it fits and it's got those weird little two clips you put a tyre around it, I don't know what you call it. It's like a quick release sort of thing, but uh, that went straight on, looks way better. And yeah, it just needs, um, I noticed the steering wheels are really far forward, so I think I have a spare spacer in the FC. And I also have a 90 deep coin at home, so take the car home, put the spacer on for the steering wheel and the deep steering wheel as well, which would be perfect. And otherwise that, yeah, it's just pretty... It's just... It's weird that the car was in the state that it was in, because it hasn't taken much work to make it back to a normal car again that isn't full of crap. The lights work and it's ready to go driving. So I don't know if people bother letting it get to that point, but anyway, good for us because we got a good deal. And as far as you know, everything looks great so far. It drives, runs, um, but yeah, we're gonna take it to the track tomorrow and we'll see, you know, if any new issues arise. Well, hopefully not, but we'll have a quick look inside, I guess. Just had some um, tires at home as well that I've put in for tomorrow. And the tyres that came on the car, they're actually good, just a bit camber on, so I flipped them. So, I'm going to use them tomorrow, plus a pair I had from home. And these have been sitting around forever, so. Essentially, so far, the car, to get it ready for drive, has cost me, I think, 70 bucks for the battery, and I bought some terminals for it and stuff as well. Other than that, I haven't done anything. Just all stuff that's been kicking around, so. But yeah, it cleaned up a lot better than would have looked earlier, which is a good feeling because it was pretty ra ratty in there. But yeah, that sums it up. Hopefully we'll have a good day tomorrow. If not, we'll address it then. Can't be that bad, surely.